Bro, these hollow points, man. I know, right? I need an LMG. That's what I need. Yeah. Another level. Yeah. Another level. We should get more than one, though, because not more than one level, but like a little more than. Yeah. High, yep, see? We got yep. one, almost one and a half because we got the right. Last patch, I was able to get to level 100 on the rewards track super fast in a matter of hours, in fact. That video was so popular, it got over 100,000 views. I even got backlash from many people asking me why I'm telling everyone their secret farm. The farm is amazing and can get you where you need to be on the rewards track for season 10, meaning all the goodies only available at the highest levels. I streamed yesterday and we started out just completing convoy side missions. I didn't want to do any legendary missions. Usually when a new patch comes out, it's grind time for the first couple of days at least. I try my best to get everything I can right away. Then after I got all I need, it's time to get in the lab. So my clanmate Wyvern Black and I were discussing what's the fastest method to leveling on the rewards track, getting shade points and materials. We wanted to set the record straight. What is the best all around farm? He suggested the convoys. I was a little skeptical at first because I thought how can this level me up fast? I had no idea. <laughs> as soon as we completed one, boom, I gained a level. I was shocked because it was way more accessible to do. Like for example, if you're solo, rather than try to get to floor 10 in the summit and redundantly do that. This way was less repetitive because sometimes you run into rogue agents. It's just a nice change up from time to time. But there are weaknesses in this method that could possibly slow you down. And if you want to get to 100 quickly like me, this may not be the best way. Because sometimes the convoys could get bugged or disappear, or they just end up going into a control point where tons of other NPCs spawn. Many time consuming mishaps occur while trying to effectively farm levels. So let's set the record straight. The convoy farm is good, but nowhere near as good as the summit floor 10 farm. It's repetitive, yes, but all you need is some hours in the day to dedicate to getting where you need to be. I mean, when we started this farm, I was at level 40 from doing the convoys. Then less than an hour later, I got the busy little bee exotic pistol, which is at level 85, by the way. Then at 90, you get the bloody knuckles exotic gloves. Before you know it, you're done. I know it's a pain sometimes to try and get a team together to do this, let alone finding someone who has the floor saved already. But just like players LFG for the raids, they do the same for this particular farm. There are also guides on YouTube about how to do it solo. But for me, I linked up with some other players and found that the fastest. 20 seconds tops every time. It never took more than a minute to level up at most. Oh no, and with fire. that comes materials, gear, and weapons, not just levels. I consider it the everything farm and the formula is very simple. It always been, it's just that it takes a little practice to master. One eclipse build rolled the status effects with the fire stick you did the first red bar you see. The others have seekers, oxidizers, and one or two fire starter chem launchers. They head straight to the right side of the door to ensure the boss comes out of that door. After dropping the seekers of course. The seekers are to take out any stragglers roaming around and kill the burning enemies faster so the eclipse bonus can spread quickly. Once all those oxidizer clouds are stacked up on top of one another at the door, no NPC will stand a chance and they'll get melted every time. After experiencing this again, I now have no doubt that this is the ultimate method for quick levels and a lot of gear. And that's an understatement. Also expertise farming for materials, it's not an exploit either. All you're doing is clearing the floor very efficiently. I mean, if it was an exploit, the devs would have surely nerfed it by now, especially for this patch. But it's still here and waiting for you to benefit from. The Division 2 grind and any grind in general after a while just gets boring. Don't you want to get into the lab and start making builds right away? Playing legendaries with authority or flexing in PvP? Well, get to work and knock it out in a matter of hours. You won't regret it. Trust me. That's it for me. See you later. Be right out.